Yo, what is up, my fiends? It is a good, good day. New Balance dropped a few nights ago. I got the Master 3. We got a new deck list. Let's get right into it. So this is the old deck list that we see here. I want you to peep the Gammas, the Necro Valley, Ghost Spell, Eradicator, Compulse, etc. Those are the big changes. Ignore the extra. And then we are now going into our new fully optimized uh deck list for this new ban list for this september ban list essentially um and you could flex it to be ready for cash tira uh if that is going to be the next best thing or dragon link or mirror matches because i think those are going to be the top three so pretty much the hand trap lineup is the same with three maxi uh well i guess before the hand trap let's, let's get into what what is for sure staying right um we know we got two clock, three furniture. I said, fuck it. The whole point behind this deck is the flexibility. I really do think in Master Duel, at least in the best of one format, being able to have a deck that could go either first or second, not just a guaranteed win turbo first. And, oh, I got to put in all these crazy going second cards going second, even though you can. And that's the point I'm making is like Labyrinth could do both with furniture because if you have too many going second cards, your furniture cards could discard those and there's, there'll always be use and people might see that as a minus, but you're never really minusing when you're setting a trap that you could use on your turn, right? If you're, if your opponent's first and you're being able to resolve a big welcome when it comes, when it passes back to you, that shit's fucking crazy, bro. That's not a minus. Uh, it's just obviously if they don't have an ash, but Point being, that's why I, I doubled down to get the Masters. I was like, let me get all the fucking furniture. Because my hands, I was just chronically going second. Chronically going second. So, three Ariana. Stable. Staple, staple. I don't really need to talk about that much. It searches everything else in this fucking deck. Three Lady. Uh, up this one by one from the two that you just saw. I think she's like extremely, extremely useful. And it's really, really often that you do Special Summoner um, on, on your first turn that you're able to play. One Lovely. Never run more than one, guys. Please. I still open this so many times, uh, so it goes without saying you do not want more than one lovely in your deck. Um, and then three big welcome, staple, staple card, and two welcome labyrinth. I uh, went down to two because I felt like I'm always searching into three. If you want three, you could do three if you want, but I prefer two because you just don't need that many copies of them, especially with the six furniture cards. I mean, they fucking search it. Um, and Ariana, so <laughs> I think I'm fine with two um but you can make the same argument with putting lady to two but these are the ratios i liked and then now that we're talking about furniture which are technically a hand trap let's move on to maxi three maxi don't need to talk about it best card in the game in master duel three ash i think i you could mess around with two or three but i think three is really good it's just it's hard not to pass up if you want to go down and go for other different going second cards um like evenly and such i can understand um and then three imperm it's a normal trap lineup but it's also a hand trap i i feel like if you're running a trap deck you have to run three imperm it's just such a good it's like the best trap in the deck in the deck it's the best trap in the game uh maybe besides the one next to it that we'll cover in a second um and then the newbies here tackle crusader and mudora so these are the spicy ones um of our deck lineup the spicy hand traps kind i mean not really hand traps they get pitched off of the furniture so that's in my mind how i view them as a hand trap so for those who who are unfamiliar with tackle crusader this card's pretty good it has a lot of usage right now in the tcg and ocg in the furniture builds because of its first effect being able to book a moon when it's sent to the graveyard and that that could be the turn that it is sent right when it is sent you could book a moon your opponent and um that's incredibly powerful against Kashira, right if you could flip over a shanger era even the arise heart which will inevitably come out pretty soon and just other cards to prevent them if you flip them face down they can't exes and you can make the same argument too with uh links if you're going against dragon link if you're smart you don't flip down the quick effect dragon but flip down other dragons that they're using to link before they could get to the link to romulus because they can't link face down you can't exes uh face down you can't xyz summon you can't link summon so that's goaded and, and you have the option if if that's not going to happen you could bounce a continuous spell trap field card which is obviously really really good against cash tira still so if you feel like you're going against a lot of cash tira this stock will go up um and, I, and that's what i've been testing with i've been testing with this and this in my master games and obviously medora it's a shuffler it's really really good you can make the argument for putting the other one whatever the ur shuffler is 
uh, into here. And so you'd have two shufflers. Uh, that might be better right now up until uh, whatever the new you know, set will bring. If it is going to be a rise heart, then you can take this guy out, go into this. Or I think Chaos Hunter stock is going to go up, up. I've, especially in Labyrinth when it is a fiend and it could be special summoned off of Ariana. Um, there, and it's a hand trap and it, it synergizes with your cards. If you feel like you have too many hand traps, you could also just discard them for fodder for her. And she's 2,500 attack. She's stops your opponent from banishing, which is the entire game plan of Kashtira. And she's a level seven. So if you ever did want to run Kashtira Labyrinth, it, she's a level seven. <laughs> so it's just insane. Um, I, I think this card stock will go up. I wouldn't run three but you could maybe test out one or two uh, in the future if you feel like you are going against a lot of cash. So, uh, moving next, uh, Lava Golem. We'll probably round out our monster lineup here. I talked about everything except Lava Golem. I think this is a pretty standard. Typically, I wasn't using that last season because you you really want this normal summon to be Ariana. But there are just going to be games where you're going second. Thankfully, not against Block Dragon and Emancipator anymore. But there's still a lot of boards I could put up... Um, Omnigates or spell trap negates for evenly. So normally I would just run the three evenly, but the lava golem has been starting to be kind of somewhat necessary. And again, if he's dead a card in, in my hand, usually one of the six fucking <laughs> furniture cards is going to deal with that. Usually, or a draw card could help me get into more cards, etc. So speaking of which, two pot of extra. I never ran three to begin with, but you're not going to be able to after this, which is fine. Two and one prosper prosper is plenty. It's it's perfect. This is the ratio that we like. We just hope they don't have to hit extravagance again. Um, and so now we can move on to our normal trap lineup. Two D barrier. I you know we're at an impasse, right? With this season, this month pre ban list, two was very necessary because of the tier matchup with tier and sprite being gone, which this does great against both. The only other extra deck heavy focused deck would be Cash Tira. And honestly, I don't think you need need D barrier to deal with Cash Tira. I think Book of Mooning your opponent. You could also just straight up run Book of Moon over this Tackle Crusader, or tributing over your uh, opponent's board because they usually end with just two or three monsters. It's not a very scary end board, um, especially if they do uh, manage to spell tra uh, trap zone lock. You you could just emphasis more on this, or again, Curry Kara stock is going to go up too. This is going to be a very, very good card as well. So if you feel like you don't like Lava Golem and you don't want to have something waste your normal summon, you could do Kurikara or just a, a different Kaiju instead. Um, and I think that you're well justified. And again, if you want to cut this down to one because you're not going against that much cash, I could understand that. We could just, hey, let's just cut this down to one. Um, and then three evenly. I mean, I needed this card i can't stress this how i, I can't stress how much <laughs> like i can even talk straight i like i needed this and especially with tier not having crime i mean they'll have crime but tier won't be like as much of a thing so i'm not like super worried about crime and the adam Emancipator won't have block dragon um and uh sprite will get limited a lot too so i think their consistency they won't always be able to put out the carrot i think they might opt to just put out the red um but either way i still like evenly matched um, and again, if it clogs your hand, that's what these six guys are here for, these handsome fellows. Um, we talked about evenly. Let's go for some removal. Oh, and, and, and that's why I didn't even talk about, you know, why I took out Necro Valley. I took out Necro Valley because it was just getting to be too slow. I did get my promotion games really, really close. I had a few promotion games to master while still using the old list. Like, I pretty much used that old list you just saw at the beginning of this video from my last deck list video. That's what it was. And it got me to master it, like... It almost got me to master again, like several, several times. But I was like, I think just a little bit, like some cards were, were just not cutting it. They weren't fast enough. And the field spell was like, okay, Necro Valley, but it was just time to move on because you were kind of limiting your plays with Big Welcome, not with specifically the graveyard effect of comp essentially compulsing your opponent. I figured if I take out the metaverses and Necro Valley I now, and the compulse, I now have more room to put, to just use the Big Welcome second effect compulse and then and rely on that and then like put in some more disruption like dogmatica you could run two idp honestly some people like terrors of the overroot fine run that if you want it is what it is so that's the same logic between these two well uh and then we'll talk about our uh dogmatica targets next actually 
I want to keep this around 10 minutes. Um, so, speeding through here. Uh, Intis, standard. Bucephalus, into Garura, standard. Uh, Chaos Angel's the new, new big thing in this deck list. So, that's why I think if you ever want to cut furniture, you cut the chandeliers instead of the stoves because they're level twos. The ladies are level eights. You very, very frequently always have some type of lady out, which is also why the XZ's plays are nice with Draglubion, Numeron Dragon, etc. You get a 9k beater. Zeus, because of these. This was spicy. Uh, this does come up actually with the clock, especially if you do want to run three clock. And at some point I was running Droll in this deck. Um, so Relinquish was always almost a live card. Nightmare Phoenix, Dark to Dark Charmer. Muckraker is the insane new support that we got. It's really great. Nightmare Unicorn, maybe off of the Dark plays. And that's about it, guys. Um, I talked about Chaos Hunter, which I will be testing out in the future. And again, you just might want to adjust your deck. If you feel like you're going against a lot more, you know, Kashira, etc., then you could run more uh, D Barrier. Um, again, same thing with this. If a Rise Heart comes out, you know, maybe Medora might not be the guy. Who knows? Same thing with Tackle Crusader if you don't feel like risking it. But that's where it is right now. If you don't like these two, take these out and you have a 40 card deck. Perfect consistency. I don't think it matters, but hey, you guys let me know in the comments. Stay fiend, motherfuckers. I'll catch you around.